Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading for Taurus. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Taurus, please, when it comes to love. As always, this is a general love reading and it will not resonate with every single person watching. If this is not resonating for you at all, then check out my playlist for Taurus. You can get to that by clicking on my username here under the video and it'll take you to uh, my homepage and you can scroll down to the playlist or click the playlist tab and check out my playlist for Taurus. All right, we're gonna do the spread that I've been doing recently. I really like this spread because it gives me a good overview of what's going on and how you both are thinking or feeling about each other. So we'll start with the past energies. Spirit, what are the past energies for Taurus? Okay, we have this star, Aquarius energy in the past here. Tell me about the energies that Taurus is bringing to this connection spirit. Taurus. Okay, we got the Eight of Swords, first card for your energy, and Queen of Pentacles reverse. Some of you, um, I already got the message right away. It was really loud. Um, some of you are trapped financially. You're dependent on someone financially. This is only for some of you, not everyone, but some of you feel uh, trapped financially. Others of you, um, you, you no longer want to give to something, or perhaps you are keeping yourself from giving of yourself due to fear. We'll see as we clarify. Tell me more about what's going on. Present energies for Taurus, please. Five of Pentacles reverse, present energies for Taurus. Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is definitely something to do with money or commitments, like a marriage possibly. Tell me about the, the other person's energies for Taurus. Okay, we got Ten of Wands, King of Cups, Three of Wands reverse. And near future energies. What are the near future energies? That's sloppy. What are the near future energies for Taurus, please? Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. That's a good, um, good way to end this spread here. We'll see when we clarify. But Ten of Cups is a happy ending. Um, this is fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, happiness, joy, a card for family, celebration. Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Swords. I feel like a lot of you are being focused or are thinking of your own happiness. Um, but some of you, again, I, I am picking that stuck energy. I have the Hangman and Eight of Pentacles reverse. So either you don't have all of the resources to get something going or you are unable to put as much effort as you want to or need to into something. This could also be your person's energies here that I'm picking up um, because the spread could be all about you, Taurus. It could be all about your person or vice versa um, in terms of past, present, future. I have you on this side, I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped, okay? But first let's clarify the past and present energies. Let's get some more information about this connection. Actually, I'll start with the Romance Angels. I feel like there has been some sort of loss here in terms of a commitment or finances, a lack of stability possibly for some of you, a lack of security. But with the Five of Pentacles reverse, this is a card about recovery, um, overcoming difficulties, wanting to come back in out of the cold. So let's see. Spirit, give me some insight into this connection for Taurus. When it comes to love, you could be dealing with a water sign, an earth sign, an Aquarius. We'll see when we clarify. Tell me more about this connection for Taurus, please. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking. Nope. Yeah. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Can I get one? Oh my God. Okay. Uh, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring and calling in your soulmate. Okay, so I feel like some of you are uh, trying to manifest something here re related to a person. 
um, finances and career at the bottom of the deck. So yes, I feel like finances are an issue or a job situation could be interfering here. I feel like in order to call in a soulmate, there needs to be some sort of effort here. Um, the feelings are there, but it's going to require effort in some way. Let's clarify these energies. Tell me more. Oh, Taurus, please. Tell me more. Help me clarify these energies. Oh, Taurus, when it comes to love. February 2021. Using this little mini deck. Okay, let's start with this past energy. We have the star, which is a card about hope, a wish, um, faith, renewal. We'll see. Why is the star here, Spirit? Okay. The high priestess reversed. Something coming out. Um, a secret being revealed. This could also be that someone's not listening to their intuition. Let me get some more. Tell me more about the star spirit for Taurus. Why is this star here? The lovers reverse Gemini energy. A disconnect, um, a separation possibly, and then again I have the Eight of Swords at the bottom. The lovers reverse could also be a regret of a choice in a partnership. Um, wanting to make a different choice in partner, it could signify a breakup. Um, maybe there was something that came to light or um, something is no longer a secret or hidden here regarding a partnership or a, a choice in partner. Can I get one more for the star? Someone could be needing to heal after a breakup or um, wanting to heal a breakup. Yeah, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles. I feel like there's someone that wants to work on this, wants to talk about what happened in the past here possibly, or has had clarity about effort or work being put in somewhere. Um, this could be work related for some of you. Again, this will not resonate with every Taurus watching. Bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Wands. What's behind that? And the Judgment card, wow. Uh, Ten of Pentacles right after that. So I feel like someone's thinking about uh, making some sort of judgment call regarding success in some way. So for example, someone wants to make a certain choice here or have a certain conversation. Um, maybe they want a second chance or have had an awakening about what has taken place. Um, and now they're focused on success, on stability, long-term commitment here. There's a lot of different messages that this could, that could be interpreted here. Um, I feel like uh, clarity with the High Priestess Reverse and the Ace of Swords. There has been clarity about a situation, about a person, about the past, about present, how someone feels. Um, I feel like there's something that maybe requires effort or requires a conversation and it's regarding a disconnect or a choice that maybe somebody's regretting now or um, maybe there was a breakup in the past. So let's find out. That's the near pre uh, past or recent past energy there, Taurus. But remember that time is fluid. This could be happening now or in the present or in the future as well. But let's see what's going on here. This is the mutual or present energy is currently what's going on here. Why is the five of pentacles reverse? Why is the five of pentacles reverse? Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like there was definitely um, either a breakup that already happened or a disconnect that's happening right now. Why is the Five of Pentacles reverse? Mm -hmm. 
That is way too many. But I have the King of Swords reversed with a Magician. Interesting. Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed? Knight of Wands reversed. Somebody could have been uh, unfaithful or um, not able to commit completely to something. Um, there could have been uh, some, 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 somebody taking, um, being reckless or taking risks, being in and out, hot and cold. Ten of Wands. This has become a burden on, on someone. There could be a lot going on here in this connection. Someone could be having a lot of responsibilities, um, feeling like the world is on their shoulders. They're doing everything on their own, pulling in all this weight. And then it could be that the other person is just not as fully committed. Um, I feel like the energy I'm picking up here is that someone is tired of the wishy-washiness, the fact that they cannot depend on others, um, tired of the back and forth, tired of the, the baggage that they have to carry here. It's like they want out of that energy. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed? This could be you or your person. And as well, um, keep in mind that if you are in a third party situation, this could be your person dealing with a third party or it could be you dealing with your own situation outside of a connection. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles reverse. Take it as it resonates, but don't try to make it fit if it's not your story. Why is Ace of Pentacles reverse? Two of Wands. A new path looking out at the potential of something patiently waiting for an opportunity seeing what else is out there why is the ace of Pentacles reverse the chariot reverse so someone um, here yeah with the two of swords I feel like someone wants to move um, change direction here with the chariot reverse cancer energy but maybe finances are an issue or they just aren't uh, are undecided about exactly how to make something happen here. For some reason, I just don't I like I don't see the motivation exactly here. Um, I'm not picking up like a certain motivation. It's almost like someone is going through the planning stages right now. Um, it's almost like um, they're ready to make a huge choice. I don't know why I'm getting that with the two of wands. But I feel like it's such a big choice that it's not an easy one to make. And this could be for, you know, a choice that you have to make your person. Um, I feel like a tower would have to fall. Yeah, the tower reverse. Someone knows that a tower would have to fall. Maybe they're um, hesitating because of this. But with the chariot reverse, this is someone that's not moving. This is someone that's not moving, not, um, not progressing here, feeling stuck. So let's see how you're both, what energies you're bringing to the connection and how you feel about each other. So I have you on the side, Taurus. I have your person here. Feel free to flip it if it resonates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so let me get some energies here. I'm gonna use my Stellar Energy Oracle card um, deck. This is a out now it's available for purchase if you're interested it's linked down below or on my website spirit give me some insight into the energies that taurus and this other person are bringing to this connection give me some insight into the energy that taurus and this person are bringing to this connection tell me more about taurus what energies is taurus bringing to this connection when it comes to this person or this connection. Difficult decision, exactly. That's that two of swords that we just saw. The two of wands. Options, choice, indecision. This decision could lead you down two different paths. So Taurus, you feel like you have a difficult decision to make. Maybe that's why you're a bit, um, maybe you're overthinking, feeling like you don't have a way out of your situation right now. Maybe fear is holding you back. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with, please. What are the energies that they're bringing to this connection? 
inner voice, intuition, guidance, answers. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. Interesting. The high priestess is, this is what, um, my card for like the high priestess. Uh, listening to your intuition, um, also like the hermit. So I feel like your person, intuitively they know that they want to take some sort of action here. Bottom of the deck, I have moving forward. So they could be wanting to make some sort of uh, ending or change in their life, have some sort of movement in their life. This is movement, ending, cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. I don't know if this is related to you or if this is a new person um, that you're dealing with because I feel like you have manifested a soulmate or you would like to manifest a soulmate or perhaps this person has feelings for you and wants to manifest something here and knows and you know they want to make the effort in some way. Um, I think it's this person because this person, I have the King of Cups here, so I feel like there's feelings, at least on this person's side with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. This is someone that um, emotions are involved. Um, they are possibly not sharing how they feel, but I don't know. Their emotions are involved here. And then I have the Ten of Wands. I have to clarify this King of Cups to see what's going on there. Um, I have this Ten of Wands, which Ten of Wands here, I have it down here as well. And if you notice in this deck, this person's leaving, like moving literally with bags packed and all of that stuff. Um, so I feel like your person could be um, having a lot going on in their life. Maybe they're trying to make a move here. So let's clarify and see what else we get for both of you here. Spirit, help me clarify these energies. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are thinking about money. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Money, opportunity, or jobs. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Something you're worried about, something not working, or perhaps there's something that's going to take a lot of effort here. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. Tell me if this is resonating down below in the comments. Tell me about the Eight of Swords for Taurus. What's the Eight of Swords here? <laughs> eight of Swords clarified by the Eight of Swords. Okay. <laughs> yes. And then I have the Eight of Pentacles reversed again at the bottom of the deck. So that's the message. I feel like you are feeling tied up because of finances, because of a job. Um, there's fear here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Typically, the Queen of Pentacles reversed signifies um, someone that is dependent on someone else financially, someone that cannot give to a situation because they don't have any resources to give. It could also signify someone who is not doing well financially or struggling in some way. Um, maybe they care a little bit too much about material uh, goods or how things look. Um, we'll see. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Any more spare about this Queen of Pentacles reverse? Six of Cups reverse. Okay, I feel like there was um, uh, probably a situation from the past that's still affecting this Queen of Pentacles reverse. And this Queen of Pentacles reverse, by the way, uh, Taurus, this could be the energy that you are bringing right now or experiencing right now. It could also be someone you're dealing with in your life. Why is it? Oh my gosh. Hold on. I just dropped like half my deck. Hang on. Let's try that again. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles reverse. The devil reversed. Yeah, I feel like this was a past mistake that I feel um, some of you can't, you can't really take action right now with the Four of Swords because maybe you need to break free of a situation or a person or 
um, perhaps you got yourself into a bit of a mess without meaning to take it as it resonates Capricorn energy with the devil reversed um, and this could be anything that you got yourself into maybe you have um, a circle that has become toxic or a friend or your partner or an ex-partner or perhaps you have put yourself um, in back yourself into a wall or feel like you have not a lot of options you don't have a lot of um, opportunities to get out of the situation you're in um, I feel like this is affecting your love life in some way because I have the romance angels card here finances and career are a factor in your love life right now so I don't know why that would be it's gonna be different for all of you but I feel like this is a situation where you feel trapped or stuck and it's affecting love in some way why is the ten of wands here let's look at your person why is the ten of wands here the hermit reversed so that's okay that inner voice card virgo energy i have the seven of uh swords reverse i feel like this person was not listening to their intuition they were ignoring their intuition in some way i feel like they've also probably um they've been caught doing something uh maybe they're being seen clearly for okay then i have the five of wands and the five of pentacles okay so um i feel like this person for some reason they feel like they've been put out into the cold are having financial difficulties interesting you could if this is someone that you're connected with right now there could be a distance between you uh, because I have the hermit reverse with the five of Pentacles so um, it's almost like someone has withdrawn completely um, feels very far away um, I have the eight of wands here so again another card about movement action communication or news coming in can I get one more can I get one more for the Ten of Wands. It could also be that it could have been um, some sort of communication or situation that has caused baggage in this connection. Maybe there's baggage on this person's side or baggage in your connection um, together. Four of Swords. Okay, so this person, yeah, I feel like there's probably not a lot of communication or not the best communication here. Um, not a lot of movement here. I have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck so for some of you the decision that you have to make that's difficult is relating to this person for others of you this person is also someone that needs to make a difficult decision for some reason I have the three of wands reverse this is someone that um, has missed an opportunity um, they're making mistakes because they didn't plan very well there's impatience and frustration about waiting why is the three of wands reverse strength leo energy this is about control why is the three of wands river someone here is feeling a bit impatient to bring something under control why is the three of wands reverse okay so this is an <laughs> we keep getting the same messages two of swords and then the magician reverse so there's there's um, a block here as well I feel like someone needs to make a difficult decision in order to control a situation this person could also be hindering your decision making in some way uh, take it as it resonates why is the king of cups here why is the king of cups here the higher font reverse so even if there's this a disconnect in a commitment um, there's love here page of swords communication this is also you sign for Taurus so Taurus this could be you somebody that um, still wanting to talk to you or is watching you can I get one more for this king of cups queen of cups yeah so this person the queen of wands this person i feel this king of cups has feelings for you or feelings um that are i don't know it's almost like they have to communicate their feelings whatever those feelings are um mainly it's love for a lot of you but i have the heart font reverse so i'm getting a few messages here this person um maybe they broke a commitment with you um but there's there's still a lot of love here in terms of you know they're, they're still watching you 
Um, this person could be in a commitment right now that they need to break in order to be with you. Uh, that's also a possibility here. I'm also getting that for some of you, this person um, pissed you off in some way. Like they piss you off in some way, um, but they still, you know, I don't know. It's almost like there's still love here, but they're, but you're upset. Um, tell me if that resonates. Let's see. What is this person thinking or feeling about Taurus? I'm using my secret moon oracle deck. What is this person thinking or feeling about Taurus? Maybe this person hasn't communicated what they truly feel about you. What is this person thinking or feeling about Taurus? I want to see you. What is this person thinking or feeling about Taurus? I'm ready to open up and I'm having doubts. So now I'm over here looking at this Ace of Pentacles. This could be a new opportunity for you either related to work or from this person, an offer of commitment, um, and you don't know what to do about it. So that could also be a possibility here. I feel like you might wanna take this offer, take this opportunity, but you feel a little bit stuck and need to break free of something here. So I'm getting you know, a lot of messages. I feel like there's multiple people that I'm reading for. So just take what resonates um, for your particular situation. So let's see, what's this 10 of cups? This is the near future. So some sort of good news here. Why is the 10 of cups here? What's this 10 of cups about? Ten of swords reverse. Why is the 10 of cups here? Ten of swords reverse is moving on from the difficulty. Three of Cups reversed. Can I get one more? Three of Cups reversed is typically a third party energy, something in the way. I feel like whatever was in the way here, whether that's fear, finances, career, another person. Um, yeah, and then there, here we go, the Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles fell on the floor upright. I feel like whatever was in the way here, it's no longer going to be in the way. It's, you know, if someone wasn't able to put in effort somewhere, they will be able to now. If someone was worried about a, something working out, it's going to work out here. Um, because the past is, be, is, this is done. The worst part is over, essentially. What's at the bottom of the deck? The moon reverse, Pisces energy with the king of wands reverse. I feel like someone's going to be able to see a situation very clearly. High priestess reverse, moon reverse. Um, something is going to come out that will help you, I feel, make a certain decision or will help things move forward here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you in some way. If it did, leave me a comment down below and I will see you all in another video. Take care.